What's up guys, this is Darius from Speak Geek, and welcome back to another examination episode. Today I'm looking at the new tactical suit that Batman is going to be wearing in Justice League. Let's get started. When I look at different superhero suits, I always try to look at three things and go from there. I look at form, function, and perspective. When I first saw this suit, it was in a low light, so I got turned off when I couldn't really make out the bat symbol, and to me... His bat symbol on his chest is something that really needs to be there to let me know that that's Batman. Yeah, you can have the ears and the cape, but if I don't see that symbol on his chest, then I can't really uh, vibe with the suit. With that said, once I was presented with this image, which is in a higher light, the more I look at his suit, the more I begin to really fall in love with this design. This suit really says tactical, and tactical anything to me is always eye candy. From the separate plates to what looks like their straps on his thighs, even the device that seems to be strapped to his forearm, and even his goggles, this suit looks like it was made to give him a better edge in battle. Where he was rough in fighting in BVS, here it seems that he's probably going to go find a way to cause more damage without being so hands-on. I also love the embrace of the utility belt. It's there, and he's proud to wear it. It's not that sleek look from other films. This is all utilitarian, and that's one thing I really love about this DCEU Batman. They found a way to incorporate all of the slight details that, when brought together, really look great. And if you notice, Batman doesn't have any claws anymore. In the image of Bruce and <laughs> Bruce and Zack Snyder, Ben Affleck and Zack Snyder, his old Batman outfit had claws, and now they don't. And I believe that this is a outer representation of the change that Bruce is going through when, at the end of BVS, he says that he will act in Superman's place and that he will be a better person than he once was. In terms of function, we don't know much about what it can do, but with everything we've seen in video games, comics, and cartoons, we can guess that it will have tactical abilities such as maybe shutting down power, hacking. It may be able to give him better control of the Batmobile or his flying vehicle. Normally with these releases, we get the director or screenwriter talking about why they developed it and what the origin is behind it. But here, they chose to keep it a secret, which leaves us to speculate. The goggles may be for night vision or seeing different heat signatures that maybe normal humans don't give off, but metahumans do. He now has to think beyond everyday humans now that he's fighting gods and monsters. From the perspective of the film, we could see him in this suit for less than 10 minutes or even at the beginning of the film. I say that because we've already seen his new Justice League suit, which I'm not too really fond of. They seem to be pushing that suit as the mainstay Batman suit, but that's just my own speculation. The idea of a tactical Batman suit isn't really anything new. Batman has had multiple suits throughout the ages, ranging from the toys you collected as a kid to that damn silver suit in Batman and Robin. And even the change from Batman Begins to the Dark Knight which is a great example of drastic change for everyday use. If you look at those two films, we can see a shift in form and function. But in this case, Batman is using this suit as a utility more so than an everyday suit, as opposed to in The Dark Knight in Batman Begins, where Batman was so stiff with his suit that he needed a new suit in order for him to just turn his head and be lighter. In Justice League, this suit is... It might as well be in his utility belt of suits, <laughs> if that makes sense. And it's just one of many that he has to use at his disposal, similar to how Iron Man has multiple suits for multiple occasions. Batman is a man who thinks before he acts, and he sees situations and creates through his own paranoia, which in the end, pay off. Take, for example, the Batmech from Batman number 35, which is a part of a story arc called Endgame. This mech was known as Plan Fenrir, a powerful robotic armor designed by Batman to do battle with the entire Justice League. Another example is his tech suit from Batman Arkham Knight, 
which allows him to take less damage and control the Batmobile in a more fluid way, which I think is the primary function of the suit for Justice League. Batman is an innovator. Batman is always creating and evolving and taking long strides to be more effective and efficient in what he does. What I hope is that this suit opens the door for more suits. I hope that they allow Batman to grow and evolve over time when he's going up against these metahumans and gods and applying that knowledge gained to his outfits. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Uh, this has been another examination topic from Speak Geek Unlimited. My name is Darius Morgan, and peace.